What's happening, everybody? Sam at White Trash Motorsports. I'm sure some of you have seen Tony's video where he was talking about using the supply line for a fuel line, and that works. And then he got into the discussion of saying that he didn't realize that there was the difference between the Teflon AN fittings and the regular AN reusable fittings. Huh? I got both types laid out here, and I just figured I'd take a couple minutes to show you. This bigger stuff, this is a dash 10 line here. We use that for basically turbo drains. So we just use a regular rubber line for that. So these fittings here are just basic. They thread on and it locks itself. You put this over, put, you thread this over the hose. And then when you thread this fitting in, See how it's wedge shaped, it forces itself tight and it seals, and that'll hold pretty good pressure. I mean, you probably hold, I don't, I wouldn't know what it's rated. I know they don't rate it for like brake lines and stuff. And then you have your Teflon stuff. Your Teflon stuff, I said the inside of it, it's mostly noted on the Teflon line. As you see, it looks like a white plastic coating. We use a lot of this. This whole car's fuel system is plumbed with the Teflon. This is actually a piece left over from when we did the return line on this because we have an eight feed and this is a number six return but you know you put the tape on it to cut it but as you can see when it's cut straight like that how that ends up being now the fittings for this is a special type of fitting because it basically works the same as the other fitting but this one has an extra furl that goes on there and that's what really changes the game so you'll take this and you'll put your belt over the line like that same as you do with a regular hose but then you come down and you have this little furrow right here. Now this is the difference. If you're using a Teflon line, you have to have a fitting that has this furrow like this. Because what this does is between the inside of this fitting where the hose wedges, this seals the outside of that Teflon so you don't get no leak around it. So basically this here, if you look inside it, there's a little step down edge. This will go down in. We'll use it on this side a little more exaggerated, but this will go over the Teflon line down, but underneath the steel liner. You basically trim it back just enough, but you'll have that on there and you'll push that all the way down on until it stops. It'll bottom out in that line. I wish I had my tripod here with it. Do it by hand. But you'll push that line until it stops. This one needs trim back. Obviously, it's frayed. It was just cut real quick with a whiz wheel. But that would go on there. And then this would go you know, in there. Obviously, you would put this fitting on first. Push that in there. And then when you tighten that, then that's going to seal that Teflon inside and outside. And that's pretty much your difference. I said this Teflon line, if you're running E85 or methanol, you absolutely need this because it's going to break this rubber line down. This rubber line here, we only use this for like catch cans, turbo drains, things of that nature. Anything, it's just going to be like motor oil. A lot of guys use it with regular gas, but since there is a little bit of ethanol, the you know, 10 or 15% ethanol in today's modern pump gas, so eventually it's going to get hard and break down. I have some fuel line here from race cars when we used to run the stuff on carbureted systems, and after, you know, a year or so, this its hose will get really hard. This is a nice nylon braid. Underneath the nylon, there's a steel, and then... A rubber inside. This is really nice. It's flexible, but then also it's nice and soft to touch. You're not this stainless stuff here. It's just evil when you're dealing with it. You're gonna have pokes and bleeding fingers, and that's just the way it is. But I mean, that's about all I can say. I mean, this stuff here. This is good for high pressure. It's Teflon. Works really good. You, people use it for power steering lines. When they make, uh, if you're gonna use make custom AC lines. You can get adapter fittings to use the AN lines for that. People even use the smaller stuff for like the Dash 3 for like brake lines. Anything that's going to see extremely high pressure, just go ahead and use the Teflon stuff. Actually, my whole fuel system is braided to Teflon that has this soft jacket on my supply side. But it still has the, sta or the steel underneath it to reinforce it. Teflon inside. So I hope that clears up a little bit. Helps everybody with what they're looking for and saves you a little bit of time. We'll catch you next time. Remember, guys, sleep in your car, but you can't race your house. We'll see you.